Welcome to Success Talks with Rodney Salisbury. I hope you will support my sponsors who bring you this podcast absolutely free and with limited interruptions. I really appreciate you taking the time to listen. I'll get started in just a second. The reviews are in. The latest book from voiceover superstar and coach Rodney Salisbury is another runaway hit. Readers from all over the world are raving about his newest title, Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warm-Ups. You can find this and his other titles at the top of the voiceover bestsellers list on Amazon.com. Otis Williams, the last surviving member of the original Motown group, The Temptations. Otis Williams was born on October 30th in Texarkana, Texas. The Temptations. They've had 14 number one R&B records, received three Grammys, and the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. And they've been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But what people don't know is that it was Otis Williams who originally started The Temptations. According to Williams, he was always impressed with the Fox Theater in Detroit. So once he moved to the west side of Detroit, he found some guys that really had the same type of dedication he had. So Barry Gordy saw the group that he put together, which was called Otis Williams and the Distance. And Barry told Otis to come see him because he was starting his own label. A few weeks later, he joined Barry Gordy. And then in 1964, when David Ruffin joined Eddie Kendricks, Melvin Franklin, Paul Williams, and Otis, The Temptations, history was really about to be made. And we'll be back after this message. Hello, everyone. This is Sean Daly for DailyVO.com. I want to tell you about one resource I highly recommend for vocal warm-ups because it takes out all of the guesswork and it was purpose-built with voiceover in mind. It's called Rodney Salisbury's Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warm-Ups with Other Vocal Care Tips. How's that for a title? So in case you don't know, Rodney Salisbury is a top-tier talent and coach, motivational speaker, and author of several books on voice acting, including You Can Bank on Your Voice and Step Up to the Mic. The book is available in print and on Kindle, and you can find it at Amazon or Rodney's personal website, rodneysalisbury.com, in the store section. Otis continues to travel with a new version of The Temptations all around the world every year. And he doesn't just settle for performing. He also became the executive producer for a new musical called Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of The Temptations. The musical is doing great traveling all over the country and headed for Broadway. And we'll be back after this message. Hello, this is Rodney Salisbury, and I want you to know that I am here to deliver a personalized video message to you or a friend in the form of a song or some special words from you. I'll even deliver it in one of my character voices, like the Zatarans Jazz Man. Jazz it up with Zatarans! Or Joe Robbie Robertson from Spider-Man. Spider-Man, what are we going to do? Just go to my website at RodneySalsbury.com and click on Book Rodney to deliver your message. Remember, your request is my command. Otis Williams, his backgrounds were very important to the group. He held the foundation for those beautiful harmonies. The Temptations had a lot of great songs. When I think about growing up in Detroit and I think about songs like my girl and ain't too proud to beg and get ready and born to love you and just so many songs please return your love to me i could go on and on but it was when they made that change to things like cloud nine and ball of confusion and psychedelic shack and runaway child that things really started to take off in terms of winning Grammys and different types of awards. About the musical change that they made, here's what Otis had to say. We had a single out called Please Return Your Love to Me, and we went from that beautiful ballad to Cloud Nine. I imagine our fans were wondering what the Temptations were doing. The song took off slowly, but it eventually became the first Grammy winner for Motown and the Temptations. I have the Grammy sitting in my home today. When the question was presented to Otis about how they got into that kind of music, he talked about being in New York with his good friend, Kenny Gamble, of the songwriting production team, Gamble & Huff. We were at the Warwick Hotel where I heard Sly and the Family Stones dance to the music. It was different. When I got back to Detroit, I asked Norman Whitfield, who was our producer, if he had heard of them. 
Well, the thing about Norman Whitfield, who went on to produce great hits like Heard It Through the Grapevine, for instance, by Gladys Knight, and then again by Marvin Gaye, he got on it, and he decided to start writing songs that were similar to Sly and the Family Stone. And that's how he came up with those great hits like Cloud Nine, Psychedelic Shack, Ball of Confusion, and Papa Was a Rolling Stone. And we'll be back after this message. Has anyone ever said to you that you have a nice voice and you should get into voiceovers? Well, this is your chance to find out how to do that online in Rodney Salisbury's voiceover online seminar for beginners only. You can find out what it takes to be a voiceover artist. And here's the beauty of this online seminar. You don't have to be there. When you register, you will automatically get a copy of the seminar. Go to my website at rodneysalisbury.com and sign up today. The temptations didn't just happen overnight. They had to really practice. They had to hone their craft. And that's what Motown did for you. That's what Barry Gordy demanded. Otis talked about how the backbone for Motown, the backbone for the Temptations being successful, was competitiveness. Barry Gordy thrived off of that, Otis said. Who could come up with the best production? Who could come up with the best song? They would hold quality control meetings every Friday. I sat in on a few of them, he said, and I can tell you, no one was getting mad at each other. There was no malice. It was always clean competitiveness. And although they didn't always have that type of clean competitiveness amongst the Temptations, they did practice hard and they became one of the biggest groups of all times. Otis went on to say, there will never be another company like Motown. Never. Barry took us into the studio eight or nine times before we got The Way You Do The Things You Do. That was The Temptations' first hit. Now, today, record labels won't do that. They might give you a second chance, Otis said. If you don't have it by then, they're dropping you. But Barry believed in us and his other acts. Go back until you get it, Barry would say. And we got it with our first hit, The Way You Do The Things You Do. And we're still getting it today. About being one of the sole surviving temptations, Otis said, When I stop and think about me being the sole survivor of the temptations, I've often been told by others, God isn't through with you, Otis. You still have work to do. I've said to myself a few times that there must be something to that. For all the guys that I loved and cared for are no longer here, and here I am still carrying on. When I go out, I try to dress and blend in with everyone. But people always stop me, asking me and telling me I'm one of the temptations. They always talk to me about our music and how it makes them still feel good. I thought I was dressed down, but I always get recognized. It's really a blessing, though, to receive the love and admiration from the fans. I can't complain because I realize our group has played a huge role in people's lives. I never could have imagined receiving all these different accolades in my career. And we at Success Talks are proud to celebrate the outstanding career of the founder and original member of The Temptations. Otis Williams. You can listen to any of Rodney's podcasts at any time. Go to RodneySalisbury.com. I hope you enjoyed this podcast, and I urge you to listen to future podcasts, where I will continue to try and make you better than before. My goal is to point you in a positive direction to success, right here on Success Talks with me, Rodney Salisbury. Change my way.